Good morning, and thank you all for joining us at the Meet the Prime with Cartronics ATM Installation Outreach Meeting. My name is Jamie Neely. I am the manager of our small business development and outreach team here at CTA. I am joined by my colleague, Sharnel Harmon, as well as the Director of Diversity Programs at CTA, Juan Pablo Pareto. Collectively, uh, today's agenda, brief, we will talk about CTA's diversity small programs. We will hear the conversations and the opportunities of ATM installations from our um, prime vendor, Cartronics, and then we'll open up the floor for questions and answers at the end. Throughout the presentation, we encourage, strongly encourage for you all to enter in all of your questions using the um, inbox feature or Q&A feature within the Zoom. Other housekeeping rules, we encourage you to keep your cameras on to be engaged. This is an outreach meeting. In a normal sense, we would all be in a room shaking hands and getting to know each other. Um, and so this is that exact reason of the exact opportunity in this new virtual space. We also encourage you to keep your phones or audio muted um, until called upon or again to enter your questions into the um, inbox or Q&A feature. A little bit about CTA Diversity Small Business Programs. Uh, we are essentially committed to the increasing the impacts or increasing the opportunities for small diverse businesses. Um, we at CTA do receive federal dollars and therefore accept and only accept the DBE certification. That disadvantaged business enterprise certification is a little similar to what you've probably heard of the MRW. Um, however, it is socially and economically um, disadvantaged business owners. Um, so we work with those firms to uh, help you all navigate through the procurement processes and connecting with our prime contractors. Um, such as this opportunity here. Under the small business programs, we also have workforce initiatives. Just like our small businesses, and we put the efforts to make sure that they are all diverse, um, our workforce should resemble the same thing. Mentor protege program. We understand the value and the experience and the expertise that some of our prime contractors may have and how that may benefit building the capacity of our smaller firms. And so we not only uh, have the mentor protege, but we encourage it again for our smaller firms and DBEs to build capacity, both human and financial, to perform on CTA contract opportunities. And technical assistance. We want to make sure that our small businesses and DBEs are procurement ready. We want them to meet the prime contractors ready to do business. With that, we help you all with contracting strategies, making sure that the right opportunity is for you with the market research, understanding where the opportunities are, marketing to the primes, again, hosting events like this so that you can have an opportunity to connect and meet with the prime contractors. Access to capital. We have a program called Building Small Businesses where we help small businesses source um, and actually place that or capital. We know that in order for you all to successfully operate on CTA contracts, you must have the financial sustainability and cash flow resources to do so. And so we've successful, successfully over the last year uh, helped about 14 or 15 different small businesses secure almost $5 million in funding. And then we also assist our small businesses with educational resources. We are actually about five weeks into an eight week series named Small Business Education Series which is again an eight week educational program. Each module kind of building on um, topics to help you successfully operate on CTA contracts. Some of those topics include budgeting, estimating, project management, safety and quality controls, et cetera. Again, all of these services and programming under our diversity small business programs are here to support our small business and DBE community to be successful in CTA contracting. How you can engage with our programming are through outreach like, like this, uh, whether it's procurement related, educational related, uh, pre-bit meetings, um, any opportunity that you can get FaceTime or get on a call or meet and greet uh, with the folks that's making the decision on these contracts, I think would be to your most benefit. The one-on-one -on -one consultations, we oftentimes meet with our small businesses. The more we understand who you are, what you do, 
and what you're looking to do or looking to grow, the better we can support and provide the, the, the needed resources to get you there. The DBE Advisory Committee. Again, we accept the DBE, uh, the DBE certification and we have a committee that's um, compiled of both minority-owned DBEs as well as women-owned DBEs, prime contractors as well as technical assist agencies. This very comprehensive group provides different um, uh, thoughts or experiences about small businesses in, their, in the DBE community. And so we, we meet quarterly um, to hear what those challenges may be, what CTA can do to break down some of those challenges to make sure that our small business community can be successful when doing business with us. And pre-bid meetings, I mentioned that. We encourage at any point when you all see a pre-bid meeting that you're remotely interested in the opportunity, please attend. During those meetings, you have prime contractors that may be interested in going after that opportunity as well as other subcontractors. But as importantly, you hear the questions that are asked about the contracts, those specifications that are so meaningful to how you may be successful on the opportunity. So make sure that you stay engaged uh, with the CTA and our programming and our outreach so that you can become a part of our business community. How you can do that is first by registering as a CTA vendor on our CTA website, Chicago, uh, transitchicago.com. Also, if you have not become DBE certified, we strongly encourage you to be DBE certified. You can also re review our current solicitations on our website, as well as forecasting our opportunities by using our buying plan projected 18 months out. Strongly encourage that because um, the more you know about, I mean, the more you get ahead of the opportunity, the better you are prepared um, to identify any resources you may need it before that solicitation comes to table. All of that being said, uh, the CTA Diversity Small Business Programs are here to support you um, in this opportunity as well as any other opportunity. And if you have any questions or comments, um, please feel free to contact us and our information and contact information will be shared at the end of the presentation. Now for all of what you all are here for is to hear from Cardtronics and to hear about what ATM installation opportunities may be available for your services. Next we will have Tashi Yangzan from Cardtronics. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Tashi. I'm the Relationship Manager managing the CTA ATM relationship on the Cartronic side. Um, I'll just take two seconds, maybe two minutes to introduce the company uh, and then hand it over to Lena and Mike. Um, we have a global ATM footprint. Um, this team that is currently going to speak today um, works on the US side of the business. High level, we can bucket our clients in two groups, retailers and FIs, financial institutions. Uh, CTA falling in the retailer bucket. So uh, again, high level, it's our cash, our ATM. We use a small network of vendors to service and install the ATMs. And due to the complexity of the work and security concerns, we um, only have a handful of vendors that we work with um, and they usually complete the entire install process. Uh, for the 13 on this project, we are breaking the work down into two separate tasks, um, which Lena and Mike will cover next. Okay. Hi, my name is Lena Bryant. I'm project manager for our FI retail chain and I work alongside Mike, who is the project manager on my team and he is uh, CTA's uh, dedicated project manager uh, for the rest of uh, this deployment. So um, as we talk about the Cartronics vendor onboarding process, it's pretty a seamless process. Um, you know, once we get interested vendors, um, we'll definitely align those vendors with our procurement team, purchasing team to go more in depth with what the actual process looks like. But um, just to highlight a few items about the process is that any potential vendor will need a few forms to uh, fill out, um, like a W-9, a vendor setup form, NDA, and a certificate of insurance. And then there is an approval process um, that goes through our operations team into CEDAR leadership um, as far as getting the right signatures and um, reviewing of that. 
Then once we receive those forms, our next step will be to work with our procurement team to really review the company's need for the vendor. Um, this DB certification is new to us, so um, we're, we're learning a lot about this, and we just wanna make sure that it is a seamless process for any potential vendor. And some of the information that they would want to validate is the TIN number, of course, tax identification number, and just um, you know, send it over to our compliance team and our accounts payable team. So that um, process really takes around about typically two to three weeks, depending on how quickly we can get those forms and um, start the reviewing process. Um, additional um, questions as far as, you know, once you become a vendor, we do have a dedicated team that um, has, uh, I will address questions of the invoice. Um, we do have a dedicated point of contacts if there's any contract contract questions if applicable. And then general questions will go through your deployment team, your dedicated project manager, myself, um, who's leading that project that you're um, actually working on. Okay. So um, in speaking to the scope or the remaining scope for CTA, um, the DBA portion will consist of about 10 D installs, um, 13 um, ATM installs and um, we kind of show pictures of, you know, the need as far as, you know, the weight of the machines and then um, a solution to get down, um, you know, the stairs and how it kind of looks. And then, of course, Mike can chime in on additional details. But the whole process of, you know, an install for Cartronics is we will pre-stage all the machines in our uh, warehouse based out in Houston. Um, and we will ensure that all the software or kits, like anti-skimming kits, are included um, a part of that pre-staging process to be then sent to uh, SIVA Chicago. And then that, that lead time usually takes as far as transit time, five to five business days. And then your project manager uh, for CTA um, that represents the deployment piece will actually inform the techs when they can um, pick up uh, those machines once they arrive. And so then there's another expectation of re once the ATMs are removed, sending them back to our warehouse. So Mike, did you want to lead into any other additional details as it relates to the scope for the DB potential vendors? Sure, absolutely. Hello, uh, Mike Allen, project manager um, for ATM Deployment National. What we're facing with these remaining 13 installs with uh, regards to the Chicago Transit portfolio are stairs. Um, we do not, we are working on a solution to get uh, ATMs which weigh about 1200 pounds uh, up and down these stairs. So uh, once we solve that problem, then we would ship the machines, as Lena said, to Chicago. Uh, we would have a technician pick them up uh, bring them to site uh, and uh, bring it to the installation pad. And then we are deinstalling the current ATM, uh, reinstalling the new ATM, and then returning the old ATM back to shipping uh, to Houston. Okay. Thank you, Mike. And so right. some of our um, vendor expectations um, with um, the deinstall approach is that we would like pictures of before the deinstall and after the deinstall. De and then there's a, a few questions that um, we would want that, in, um, that vendor to complete as far as um, questions about uh, router serial numbers, um, EPP serial numbers, um, if there was a MHL mass Hamilton lock um, inside this door safe and what that serial number would be. Um, any branding elements during the deinstall, like making sure that was there a topper, if there is um, any additional uh, branding elements that we need to be um, need to capture in the deinstall, and then so that's kind of the expectations of taking those sample pictures, including um, completing those questions in our questionnaire, as far as some of the closeouts before we move into the install portion. And so as we get into the install portion, of course, we would like pictures before the install and then actual pictures once the install has actually completed. And then there's a questionnaire that goes along with that, which consists of, um, you know, does it fit the ADA spacing? Um, 
if there's other sides faults, it's pretty much self-explanatory. And at the end of the install, we would definitely um, inquire, a balance inquiry to make sure that, you know, the ATM did install successfully. It is connected to the, to the comms. It is in a compliant area to where it could be wheel, wheelchair, assess, um, wheelchair assess accessible. So um, anything else, Mike, that you might want to lead into? You know, some of the questionnaires that close out expectations for our deployments. Sure, sure. And, and again, if there are interested parties, we can dive uh, much further into the weeds on these. But um, as far as the questionnaire, this is pretty much what we would need to close out these accounts with the banks that we work with. Uh, with Cartronics, we own the, the largest majority of ATMs in the US. So even if it looks like it's a Chase uh, machine or Wells Fargo, it, it's very likely that it's one of ours. So our deliverables to Chase and Capital One uh, consists of the uh, slide now and the previous one. So part of the expectation is we're here to support on day of install, day of deinstall. Uh, we're all subject matter experts as far as uh, the technology and the logistics. Uh, but if, if we miss any key points on the, these deliverables, then we would need that vendor to go back obviously and capture anything that was missing. Um, But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. If there's any portion of this scope of work, which anyone would like to bid on uh, regarding these remaining 13 sites for the Chicago Transit Authority, uh, we would be more than happy to have that conversation with interested parties. Uh, so again, feel free to contact uh, Chicago Transit DBE directly or, uh, and I'm always available as well. Awesome, any questions? Mike, you mentioned that there were 13 sites. Are there any geographical area across the city that the sites are located or are they kind of spread it spread around uh, all these sites are for the uh, chicago transit authority so they are on the l train line <clears throat> so these ones will all be right around downtown chicago downtown okay downtown and that's that's another additional point is that we can't stop public transportation while we're um fighting these stairwells. So uh, we'll possibly need security on site as well, or at least someone to manage crowd control. Cause I don't want anyone to get hurt uh, while we're doing these installs. This one is, is touchy. So. And the opportunities that are available on the 13 remaining ATMs as we identified are, are any DBs that, are in, that have experience already with ATM installations. Um, any DBE that has um, that does concrete or lifts and or cranes for the for the lifting of the 12 12,000 pounder right correct yeah um, I do have a question is there a sign up link with cartronics is there a vendor registration that they can head to sure sure we we can provide the contact information for myself as well as, and then I, I can direct folks in the right direction to start the onboarding process if, if they're interested. Okay. And I also see besides the 13 sites, uh, do we have any more sites in the future? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This was actually one of our smaller projects uh, with only 13 remaining. Uh, I believe, even with COVID and, and all the new normal, uh, we still installed or moved more ATMs than Cartronics has ever done in the past in one fiscal Correct. year. Yep. So we have done <clears throat> nine, 10,000 of these this year. So there's plenty of work if we <laughs> have 
the right vendor in the right place. Yes. Thank you. I have another question from Debbie, Mike, um, or Tashi or Alina. Uh, would the contractor be responsible for moving, for the moving of the equipment as well as the installation, or can these be separated? Right, right. Um, and that, that could be part of the mentor protege um, setup that we are talking about. We have a vendor who has agreed to do this work um, and possibly we'll just set up a meet with them and uh, it can give you a hands on overview about what it all takes to do an ATM install. While you guys could provide um, assistance with, with getting these ATMs up and down the stairs. Uh, we'll be drilling through concrete and bolting all the ATMs down. And then we start the bring life process, which is exchanging of encryption keys and establishing strong communications and a little more on the light IT side, but it'd be a great addition to to any business's uh, uh, scope of work. So it, it's definitely a value add uh, that can come down the line. So the opportunities can be separated. So they can, they're only doing the, okay, got it. Yes. Yeah, so generally we hire um, the handful of vendors we have available, um, you know, here in the US are all specialized. That's all they do is ATM work and they would do start to end, like they would actually you know, pick up the ATM, move the ATM, install the ATM, download the software, you know, drill the bolts and everything would be completed by a single vendor. Uh, however, this project can be broken down where the installation piece can be still be done by the, you know, the actual ATM installer and the moving piece and the bolting piece can be separated. Um, obviously smaller work than completing the whole install, but um, generally it is considered one, you know, one project given to one vendor, but we can break it down, yes. Thank you, Tashi. And that's the per kind of the purpose of this, right? It's just trying to figure out what opportunities that can be carved out for our DBE community. Um, and so they've been very generous of working with us to identify what those scopes of opportunity opportunities could be and are. So, um, so yeah. So think about you know what what pieces of the puzzle that you may be able to um, supply the vendors. Uh, and then, oh, I'm sorry, but in, in our scope of work for these remaining 13 installations, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward aside from the stair roadblock uh, right now, but we face many other challenges with ATM installations um, on other projects uh, to include uh, construction work for the through the wall drive up ATMs. Um, so we're always searching for someone to help with that. Uh, and for an example, uh, uh, CVS stores, we own the ATMs in the halls, I believe 6,800 and Cartronics is responsible for the electrical power for it. So we, we only have one vendor that we use for uh, electrical work to drop a 120 volt AC pow power line and terminate it at the location. So I, I have also been looking into expanding the electrical portion uh, as well. So electricians would be useful as a production. <laughs> nice. Definitely have a lot of DBs in those categories. Excellent. Another question was, will you get a recorded copy of this? Uh, CTA diversity team is actually launching our YouTube page. So soon um, we will have our YouTube page to include all of these presentations. But meanwhile, we will send the PowerPoint, the PDF of the PowerPoint um, so that you can have the information. Um, th another question came up uh, for your contact information, Mike. If you, um, maybe we can drop that in the uh, chat box for for the attendees. Sure, sure, absolutely. Any other questions from the audience? There, this is a existing and current live solicitation or contract. And so the opportunity will, um, will have to turn around rather quickly. Um, so they are looking for you all to be prepared to, uh, 
jump in and hit the ground running. Any additional comments from Cartronics? Awesome. Well, hey, thank you all for attending this morning's outreach meeting regarding ATM installations with our prime contractor, Cartronics. For additional information, please feel free to reach out to myself or anyone else that's on the diversity team listed on the slide here um, and or our Cartronic partners. Thanks again, and I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.